Hey guys, this is just a quick follow up to uh, some videos that I've been making, including the disappearance of 64 year old Graham Connell. A body found in the River Eyre in Leeds is believed to be that of Graham. I shared this on my community tab about 20 minutes ago, but not everybody sees community tabs. So I thought I'd make a video, but with a very specific point that I want to get across to people. So West Yorkshire Police shared that the body believed to be Graham had been found by an underwater search team about noon today in the part of the River Eyre near to the junction of Aberford Road and Bullethorpe Lane. So as usual, while formal identification is yet to be completed it is believed to be Mr Connell and his family have been informed not thought to be any suspicious circumstances and the coroner's office have been informed so note where his body was found Aberford Road and Bullethorpe Lane okay now um, he's been missing since Monday the 18th of December so it's exactly four weeks 28 days. His dog a golden doodle called Maddie sadly disappeared at the same time and um, her body was found just two days later in uh, White Beck which um, is like a little brook a little stream that leads into the River Eyre. So it's interesting that we've got the location of Maddie and now we've got the location of Graham. So I want to just share this with you. So Maddie was found here. This is White Beck and that's the River Eyre right there. So White Beck leads into the River Eyre and Maddie was found about here. So I think Graham had just started off his walk. I think Maddie was found like right down at the bottom here just as it joins the river now graham was found all the way along here so this is aberford road and this is bullethorpe lane it's the same road it's um, the a642 and graham was found around here now it's a little bit difficult to measure a winding river but that's at least a mile and a half so he's gone at least a mile and a half further than his dog did. So presumably they both fell in at the same time. Now whether Maddie was struggling, maybe Maddie jumped in and he jumped in to save her and because the river was really high, he, they both got into trouble and sadly they both died. Or maybe they both fell in together. I've made this point that sometimes runners will literally tie the dog to themselves so they'll have a lead that ties around the waist or the shoulder so the dog can run alongside them so i'm wondering whether that could possibly be the case but if that was the case you'd assume that the two bodies would stay together i don't know so i don't know i don't know why they both fell in the river but it seems like they did the reason why i'm sharing this graphic with you is to make a very specific point nicola bully right? remember nicola bully and all y'all thought that there was something really suspicious and why did it take them so long to find her? Blah, 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 blah. You know, it just went on and on and on and on. So we know where Nicola fell in the river. She fell in the river at the bench. Of course, this is St. Michael's on Wire in the great county of Lancashire, my county. And that was the morning of the 27th of January. So it's almost a year. She was found 23 days later about a mile downstream and people said oh she must have been planted there she couldn't possibly have gone a mile blah 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 she'd have been caught on things well are you going to say the same about graham i mean are you you're going to say the same about graham his body has gone all the way down here around this winding bit there's a little island thing there there's things in the river so he's gone all the way down there why because of the power of water rivers are moving waterways 
Unlike what some supposed experts said at the time, when you drown in a river, you don't just sink to the bottom like a stone because the river's moving. The river's moving. All right. So I think Graham went so far because we've had so much rain that the rivers are just so much, you know, faster flowing than usual. But still, I think it's a very comparable case. We know where Nicola fell in. We know where she was found. We also have a good idea of where Graham fell in based on where his dog was found because of the just the two days it took them to find Maddie. And, you know, she may have moved somewhat, but still. And then Graham took four weeks to find him. They've been out there for four weeks. They've been out there every day for four weeks to find him. And they have... So I hope that that gives some closure to Graham's family. There's so many other people out there missing in waterways, in lakes, in locks. And um, it's devastating. It's devastating because it's so difficult to find people in water. It's so much more difficult to find people in water than on land. And anybody who has searched a waterway will tell you the same. All right, that's all I wanted to say. Condolences to Graham's family and friends, and I hope this at least brings some closure to his family. You know, losing Graham and Maddie, it's devastating, absolutely devastating. All right, guys, that's all I wanted to say. I'll see you tomorrow.